How do you make animals even cuter? You make them into adorably shaped gumballs. Okay, okay, they're not quite gumballs, but we're gonna be having a look in this video at the Squeezu Balls. Adorable little animals from the folks over at Bullseye Toys. Big thank you, by the way, to Bullseye Toys for sending these my way. I know what you're thinking. Why are you having a look at these adorable critters on this channel? Well, being that I am now a proud father, I'd like to pick up and have a look at some awesome little collectibles that my little daughter would be able to play with as well. And nothing gets cuter than these adorably round-shaped balls. Uh, each one of the animals, now I've got six individual critters, some of which aren't quite animals you would expect to find in the wild. You certainly would not expect to find a fox, for example, in the shape of a little gumball like this. But uh, we have six that we're going to be having a look at right here. Each one of them have a tag that says, Squeeze Zoo Balls. Come to us from the folks over at Bull's Eye Toy. You can head over to www.bullseyetoy.com and you can collect them all on the tag itself. So squishy, so fluffy, so cute. Those are the squ uh, squeeze balls. I love even the name, squeeze balls. Although you keep thinking when you look at them like you're gonna be saying it wrong. I always, of course, wanna say squeeze balls, but squeeze balls. Now there are, again, six of them that we're gonna be having a look at. This one is the fox. I'm assuming it is a fox. It does look like a fox, of course very much rounder of a fox. And the uh, the appeal of these is that they're squeezable. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking to yourself, how squeezable are these? Could you put some description into them? Could you compare to them something? I can compare them to something. It would be like the equivalent of taking a giant marshmallow. I know, I've already got you guys sold on this. A giant marshmallow, it's about that texture. So when you squeeze it, I'm assuming there must be some memory foam in there because when you are squeezing it, it seems to almost hold the shape of your fingers before eventually filling back out again. An adorable little fox, you can see that they've stitched his eyes and he's got these little tiny hands. I don't even know how he could travel this shape and these small legs. You would imagine it'd be very, unless they just kind of roll you know, into the wilderness. Kind of almost even look reminds me of like Kirby as well. And maybe that's why I like these so much. So there is the fox. And then as we will progressively make our way around to the back here, uh, we also have the hedgehog, which is essentially the same sort of idea. Very squeezable. Oh, they're adorable. Uh, and then you've got the little hedgehog face. He's got the quills on the top. I guess it wouldn't, would it be quills also for a hedgehog? This probably could be, I think it's a, porcupine. It's probably not a hedgehog, but rest assured that the quills aren't... Ow! No, don't worry. They're not actually... I shouldn't joke about that, but they are very soft. The little strand, strandlets of hair there, little um, quills, I guess. And uh, they've all got... They seem to all have smiley faces on them. I guess for... Except possibly for the owl, because I can't see a smile on the owl's face, but rest assured I'm convinced he's also quite happy as well. I like also that the hair's are a lighter shade that they stand out underneath. If I just move some of the hairs away, you can see it a little bit darker underneath there. So it's a nice little contrast of bright against dark. Very, very soft, very, very cute. I would go here, but I am curious just to have a look at this one. Uh, I think, and I might be incorrect, I wanna guess this is a Norwal. And I'm just looking at the tag here. It doesn't really say what it is, but you would have guessed, I know, you would have guessed this is a unicorn. Well, the unicorn is in the back. This is somehow, it's a fish or a mammal. It's, I think it's a man. I think a Norwal is a mammal, and it's kind of got a horn on the top here. It's glittery. No, it doesn't grant wishes. So if you did come across a Norwal, which I believe is an Arctic animal, it's one of the polar animal, animals, and I know that only because my daughter has like a little polar arctic book of the different animals i think the norwal is in one of them big happy smile on i'm gonna go and say norwal i hope i'm correct by that i love the glittery kind of reflection that they've given the little underbelly here which matches that of the little horn on the top cute adorable little thing this one reminds me a lot of of kirby especially i love the fact that they've got little reflections off the eyes especially on this one 
we'll make our way continuing around to the back here. We've got the unicorn. And yes, you can tell it's a unicorn by the fact it's got the little horn on the top there. It also looks like it has a mohawk, but I think that's just its mane. And of course, it's got the tail at the bottom. Again, how these adorable little creatures could even run in the wilderness. Maybe they just roll. Maybe they just roll, 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 roll. I don't know. But this one's got some great pink, pink and lighter white. Uh, my daughter certainly would love playing with these ones here. Uh, then probably of her favorites will likely be this one right here. This is the pig. She seems to really like pigs. Everything she looks at that's pig, she points at and says, pig. So she hasn't perfected pig just yet, even though it's only a one syllable word. She's getting there, she's, she's getting there. Adorable little pink pig to go along with the pink uni unicorn and the slightly pink Norwal on the back there. Uh, again, cute little eyes, big schnout there on the front of the pig. Does he have a curly tail? He does have a curly tail, or it could be a she. A little curly tail there located on the back. Again, you can squish them, you can squeeze them. These are the squeezy balls. Last but certainly not least, I quite like this one, and maybe that's the reason why I waited to the last to look at this one, is the owl. I love owls. I think ever since I watched Labyrinth, I've always been a big fan of owls, and this owl is no exception. Again, I don't even know how he would be able to fly with such small wings and such a round posterior, but he's got these adorable little flappy, flappy wings and a little beak there on the front. I like that they've given a little fur treatment around the areas of his eyes. And again, he's got a little feet down below there. There's a little back of his tail. C cute, adorable little squeezoo balls. Of all of them, I think my favorites would have to probably be the owl and the porcupine, even though I said it was probably a hedgehog. I think it's probably more so a porcupine. Let me know down below, guys, which is your favorite squeezoo balls. And if you guys are interested in picking these ones up for yourself, some good news. You should be able to find them now at toy stores. A big thank you to the folks over at Bullseye for sending these my way. And I know it's not normally stuff that I would look at on this channel, but being that I now have a little daughter that's running around, I'd like to have a look at some of these little cute, adorable toys from time to time as well. If you haven't had a chance to do so already, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. Certainly more videos will be coming your way. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.